created a pro programming that centers on behavioral um, studies and su su supplies pu support groups and other things for the community on HIV and other STDs. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, St. Louis has always been in, in a high rate of STDs, and especially in particular among youth, and particularly, again, as you said, with minorities. Mm -hmm. um, it still is the case. Um, the good news is, is that our rates are going down. Um, last year, we ranked number two in chlamydia and gonorrhea in the nation. Um, and while that is still very, very, very high, high right? um, it's, it's, it's good to know that we're actually, when we do those rates, we're, they're comparing us to other cities like Chicago because we are a city with our, as our own county. Mm -hmm. We get counted high, so our population is low, so our numbers look higher. Oh, um, so it's, okay. in a way, kind of comparing apples to oranges. When you do a metropolitan statistical area, mm -hmm. then our rates go down farther. Mm -hmm. That said... How, how far? So then in certain areas, like with syphilis, we would be ranked 50th. Currently, we're ranked 16th for syphilis oh, cases. Oh, that's a huge difference. So it changes mm -hmm. that perspective. That said, there are still way too many cases, and our case rates are very high. 90% of the cases are among African Americans for chlamydia and gonorrhea. Um, uh, most of those cases are among women. Increased rates among men now with, again, gonorrhea, chlamydia rates. HIV and syphilis, high among men. 80% of our cases are among men, but women are an emerging population. Mm -hmm. um, it continues to grow. It continues to grow among young people. Mm -hmm. um, our STD rates are highest among 15 to 19-year-olds with 70% of cases, 60 to 70% of cases among 15 to 24 year olds. So, um, how about immigration? Um, I mean, immigrant population. Do you have any statistics and as far as that goes? You know, it's interesting, and, and we talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Still today, after all of these years with the large populations migrating to all states, mm -hmm. um, in particular, we've, we've mentioned the Bosnian community, the, the Latino community here. Mm -hmm. um, we still do not track that mm -hmm. based on ethnicity or region of origin. Um, what we do is people get lumped into those categories and so we don't have real good statistics on mm -hmm. those populations as a whole. I can tell you that like within the last two years about two percent of our HIV cases are among the Latino community. Mm -hmm. That's an increase of a percentage point. So just that statistic alone should show that we're increasing. It's a small population but growing f more and more. Mm -hmm. And again, while I can't speak specifically to the Bosnian community and the Vietnamese community because we don't separate those out all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so Bosnians are actually among the other, among? It would be, it, you, it, there is no ethnicity except for Hispanic or non-Hispanic. Oh, Everything it. else is by race and so you get based on um, So there's no color. way to, to find out the actual Locally, no. There is some statistics that we probably can get through state services, and some programs, such as TB, would track that. But when we talk about STDs and HIV, it has generally not done that. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, though. It is.